this one at the young wall of the old city. The old city of Jerusalem is protected by an ancient wall which is believed to be built between 1000 and 900 BC. The walls were built to protect the people against their enemies. But it's so amazing because I'm walking here. This is the wall. And inside the wall is the old city. Let's go to the next one. It's only three, four. Na pala. Since the old city is fortified by an ancient wall, your entry point are the gates which are spread all throughout the walls. There are eight gates, but only seven are open. Let's start with the dung gate. The dung gate will lead you to the western wall and the dome of the rock. This is the dung gate. This gate's Arabic name is the Gate of the Prophet David as the tomb of King David on adjacent Mount Zion is only a few steps away. If you look closely on this gate, this is one of the battle scarred gate built in the 1540 at the southwestern corner of the old city. Because here it is Herod's gate. One of the most staple scenes whenever you enter the gates of Jerusalem are vendors selling different kind of stuff. Especially in the gates near the Muslim quarters from fruits, phone accessories, clothing and many more. And we are now entering the old city through Herod's gate. This part of the old city is the Muslim quarter I think. Gates from the Muslim quarters are bustling, it's busy and vibrant from different kind of merchandisers. Then you have the Jaffa Gate which is probably the most famous gates of all these gates because this is the entry point, this is the usual entry point of all the tourists. This is near the train station also and this gate will lead you to the Muslim souks or market where you can find any kind of souvenir items from Jerusalem. The Lion's Gate is near the Temple Mount's northern wall. In Arabic, the gate is known as Bab Sit Maryam, named for the Virgin Mary, Mother of Jesus, who is buried at the foot of the Kidron Valley. Outside the gate, you can reach Mount of Olives by foot while if you go inside you can easily see the birthplace of Virgin Mary and start your way to follow via the law of Sa. Okay, this is Lion's Gate. Now we entered Lion's Gate and we're gonna walk through here one of the Notable place that you can see here is this one, the birth of Virgin Mary. It's so ironic because this place is in the Muslim quarter and you have these names. This is the Muslim gate. Sabe, this is one of the gates. This is the 
this is called the new gate of the old city. This is the newest gate located at the western section of the northern wall. It was built to provide access between Christian Quarter and the new neighborhoods. One ancient wall, seven different gates, and four major quarters sharing the old city of Jerusalem. Over history, the wall isn't just a wall anymore as it fortified the city against many different conflicts in the past. The gates are more than just entryway. They were silent witnesses of the old city's construction, destruction, and reconstruction over many centuries. But one thing is for sure, if people of Jerusalem nowadays can share this place as their place of worship, we might not need armed officers heavily guarding the Holy Land.